All right. I'm Steve Lang and with the Kansas Jayhawk Rugby Football Club, and today we're going to talk to two study abroad student players, and we have the unique opportunity to have a past player, Tom Oliver, and a current player, Tom Richards. Tom Oliver came back from England to help coach here in the past couple of months. And uh, so I'm going to start off by giving a little overview of who these guys are. In the fall of uh, 2019, we had an inquiry from the University of Hull on the east coast of uh, England about two players that might want to come and be study abroad players with us. And it was Tom Oliver and his teammate, Harry Richardson. So we asked for a testimonial from his coach. His coach, John Cakebread, came back and said, Tom Oliver is big enough, fast enough, and has enough finesse to play any kind of game you put him in. He can play smash ball, he can play the kicking game, he can run in support. He's going to be one of the best players you will have. After agreeing to come to the university, we went on a tour of Wales, and Tom joined the club and played in a game. And one of the Delargy brothers, one of our alumni, was there to watch the game. And during that game, Tom caught a deep punt at midfield and ran it all the way back from a try playing fullback. And that play uh, basically knocked Mr. Delargy's eyes out. He couldn't say enough nice stuff about it. So Tom came over here. We had an undefeated season. And um, at the end of that season, Alex Goff, who writes a Facebook page called Goff Rugby Report, which covers high school and college rugby in the United States, um, listed the best 100 players in Division One, Division One AA in the United States. And of that 100, the Jayhawks had four of them, and one of them was Tom Oliver. So then the pandemic hits, and we go 18 months without being able to play a game. We can't even scrimmage. We lost two years of seniors. And so starting up this fall, we're looking at a situation where it was like we hadn't had it since 1964 when the team started. We, had, we were going to have a squad that had never played together before. And we had an inquiry from the uh, University of East Anglia, again on the east side of England, uh, about Tom Richards. And Tom's, we asked for some testimonials from his coach, and he sent us, I think, two or three testimonials mm -hmm. from different coaches that had known at different points of time over the past decade. And a common thread through all of them were that Tom had a terrific work ethic. He was, uh, he was very smart. He was mature. Um, he was a club man. And because of all those things, they had made him uh, a captain of the team at East England. So we thought, if you're going to start a team from scratch like we were this fall, what a perfect guy to put into the mix. And so here we have Tom Richards. And uh, again, we have a team that went 10, 10 games without a loss and we're on our way to the uh, national playoffs. So with that, I'm, I'm going to get out of this and just let you guys talk. Between the two of you, you've worn a Jayhawk uniform for two different years. Nobody lost a match against a college team. That's pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. Huh? That's pretty yeah. good. Hmm. Pretty good. So, um, what were your expectations of the Jayhawks before you came here? Well, I'll go first. Um, I'd say I didn't really have an expectation as such. Um, you guys, there is in a lot of video clips, I suppose, online, and that would be the way for me to judge things, I suppose. I was exactly the same. Yeah. I looked up on YouTube. The first thing I did, look up Kansas Rugby on YouTube, and the, the only videos I could find were like four years ago. Yeah, so there was no way to really judge the uh, standard or anything. I'm playing in a different country, mm -hmm. it's hard, hard, to, hard to really get a grasp on the, the level of rugby or or whatever so I was completely open-minded coming into it um, but I would say the first thing that I noticed when I got here was just that everyone was very athletic you know at home I, I suppose people rely on uh, on their ability to play since they played from such a young age typically at home mm -hmm. whereas out here you know you've got guys that are pure athletes and they're just adapting themselves to the game a bit more um, so that was a shock personally you know seeing all these guys that are shredded and, and fit 
uh, having to kind of stay on their level, I suppose. So that was a that was a shock for the, for the start. You know? It pushed you. It pushed me for sure. Yeah, I mean, now I've got all these guys around me that are, yeah. they've got abs coming out of them. Yeah, you know I mean? uh, yeah that, that shocked me. Yeah. So. I mean, before I came over, I was I was expecting like ex football players that had kind of come to rugby. Right. I was expecting the, the big guys. But I definitely wasn't expecting like the support around the club, like with the alumni and with kind of the clubhouse and all that. I was I was wasn't expecting that for a US college side because we don't even have that back home. No. Like my college side, we are by ourselves. Like when, yeah, when, when I was cap- self yeah, when I was captain on game day, the coaches couldn't make it because they're part time and they, they'd only come to training sessions. So on game day, I'd select the team. I w- I would make the substitutes. I'd organise the bus. I'd organise everything. But coming here with supportive culture, it's, it's so it's so nice to come here, have that kind of brotherhood straight away. Yeah. Just slot into. It. <laughs> Literally, yeah. I mean, I remember my first first preseason training, even my f- first day in the US, I got invited out to Johnny's. I was staying at Rick Renfro's, and uh, got invited out. I literally met 12, 13 of the current players, and they took me in like I was I've been here for years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a bit more at home. There's a bit more work to do to be accepted, I suppose. Whereas, yeah, here, whereas yeah. here, it's uh, it's almost immediate. You know, you yeah. meet the guys and you you feel part of it yeah. straight away, don't you? Which is but, nice. But I mean, I wasn't under, I wasn't expecting. Because obviously, the rugby isn't the the biggest sport in the US. Back home, is you got rugby for one of the biggest sports back home in England. And coming here, I wasn't really expecting like, the level of quality that we play at. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wasn't expecting to come here. And, Win the Heart of America Championship and go ten and zero. Mm-hmm. I was expecting this to come to a lower standard, but it's, it's definitely shot me. But it's also, also nice. It's pushing me as well. Um, the happy we got we got a very good squad this year as well, and I, I, I can say that as well. We got a good yeah. squad, very good squad. What, what would you say to? Uh, let me back this up. Yesterday, I made a video with a guy named David Wiley over at the KU uh, Study Abroad Department, which. I don't know, we may mix that uh, video with this one, um, where we talked about bringing students over here and that we take care of them. Um, and we really, we, we, we really want them to have a comfortable experience at Kansas. And uh, I guess you, you guys are validating that right here. Um, what, what would you say to, to uh, Players in England or the UK that uh, that might be contemplating going into study abroad and, and picking KU out of all the places they could go in the world. Well, seeing as the one who's uh, who's done it, I'll uh, I'll go first. I mean, um, for me, the year I spent here was probably the best year of my life. Um, not just from the rugby element, but you know, Lawrence is a is a great town. Uh, the university is fantastic, um, and there's so many great people out here. You know, I mean, but from a from a rugby standpoint, I mean, you won't you won't have ever played for a, a club quite like this. I know. I, 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 I wouldn't call it a club. I call it a family. Yeah, it's, you, it's, it's like instantaneously when I came here, it was like a brother straight away. Like, mm-hmm. They took me into one of their own. I went back to one of the boys' houses, started chatting to them. Next thing I know, like they're all giving me their phone numbers. They're all saying, if you need anything, just text me. Let me know. Like, we're here for you, no matter what you need. If you need a lift, if you need something. Mm. I mean, I, I suppose one of the biggest things about coming to a new country like this and doing a study abroad here is obviously you just scary, you know no one. Um, fortunately for me, you know, I came with uh, Harry Richardson. Yeah, you knew. He'll be watching this. You want to say hello to yeah, Harry? Yeah. Hi, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you well. Um, um, but, but, but it was nice though. But yeah, someone you knew. Yeah. Because I came into this blind. The, 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 the only person I knew was Matt Schwartz because I'd been on the phone with him and yeah. emailed him. Mm-hmm. Same person I knew. And I knew Rick mm-hmm. and Nancy because I was staying at the house. Yeah. You, you stayed at the house. And I stayed at their place as well when I first got here. But yeah, I mean, that's what I'd say is that the hardest part, obviously, uh, is just come into some going somewhere you don't know anyone you yeah. don't know the culture or whatever mm-hmm. but let me just put that to bed right now I mean oh, we stayed at the Renfro's first night they made us feel so welcome immediately and then like Tom says I mean you meet the boys the coaches at the club everyone around the club and it just you yeah. just feel part of it immediately so nothing to worry about in terms of uh, not knowing anyone or feeling out, like an outsider that's not, not a problem mm-hmm. at all 
Um, but it's also the uh, sorry, it's also the alumni culture. I mean, when I first came here, yeah, it was my third or fourth day. I came up with the alumni to the KC Royals game. Yeah, mm-hmm. I met all the alumni, I met all the people that obviously been here before, and even they were like, "If you need anything, just just let us know." It's kind of that like inclusive nature. It just kind of puts your nerves at ease. It's, it's nervous coming here. You're mm. li- leaving your family knowing you're not going to see him in five months. What if always wrong? What if you don't have any friends? What if you're not here by yourself? But it's been it's been awesome. Not going to lie, it's been so good. And when uh, when you showed interest in us, one of the first things we did is we had you get in touch with uh, Barkley West, who who was oh, a yeah. study abroad player in yeah. 2016 slash 17. And when he came over here um, during the the summer, at the end of his at the end of his stay here, we went to uh, New Zealand on tour, and the team made him the captain on on the New Zealand tour. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, Barclays moved on; he's graduated as as you have now. And uh, Barclays is working at rugby school, which is which is uh, an incredible thing. But what what did he say to the, to you when we we referred you to him to talk? So when so I emailed Matt Schwartz and he put me in touch with Barclay. So I, I called him because he was from he went to the University of Essex. Obviously I'm I'm from Essex back home, so I kinda had that immediate connection. But when I called him, I was the, I mean the, the thing I kind of asked him was what kind of makes KU different? Like to to other clubs. And he was just like, it's, it's the community. Because I mean I mean back home we've got the rugby club. You know, there's different circles mm-hmm. within the club, there's different people that are friends, but here's you can go out with anyone here, and it's just an inclusive nature. And he just he just said that the standard rugby will be good standard. He said it'll be, it'll be similar because he he knew he's played against my university team. Mm-hmm. He said it'll be the same standard as your university team, but it is it's it's not like a a college club. It's like a I'm not to say it like a community. It's like community type thing. It's not just it's not just the sport. And for me, I don't I don't play I, I play rugby for the community. I play rugby for to make friends and for the social aspect because, as you can probably vouch, you, you make friends for life for rugby. Mm-hmm. And I know I make friends for life here. Go, so I'm going to see you again, definitely. You guys continue a trend that we we've had for years here because we started going on uh, international tours in 1977, and one of the things that came from those those international tours is we go to another country meet other players and invite them to come back to Lawrence to play. Mm. And so now we have Jayhawk alumni that have worn the uniform on every continent. And so when we go to a, on tour someplace, we have people on the ground there that used to be you. Yeah. And, and they help us set up the tours and, and the hosting and everything like that, which is a huge advantage. I don't know of another college around here that has that kind of uh, no. uh, engagement around the world. For sure. And, and th- those people, Follow the team to this day and send money and all kinds of things. So it's 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 a it's a huge alumni base. It's it's our it's our biggest asset. Yeah, I mean, I've right never now. known anything like that, even back home. I played for uh, one of the top clubs in Essex, and it was I've never known a club like this with such a big alumni base. Mm-hmm. Like we have like alumni back home, but they don't contribute as much as you guys do. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's honestly it's, it's impressive. It's, it's good as well because that's what's going to keep the team driving. Well, we, we try and make it fun. Yeah. Absolutely. We try to make being an alumni fun. We talk to them, and uh, we got some food coming here. So I'm I'm going to turn this thing off while we get the food in. <laughs> unless unless when well, we bring in our, our a very attractive waitress. Sponsored by Johnny's. Do we have a very attractive waitress here? Oh, Where's wow. the cash? Where's the cash? <laughs> <laughs> like a book bang now. <laughs> I make sure all my customers saw me walking like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you the work ethic on that boy. <laughs> 